Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of July. Yeah, let's get started. All right. Spirit, <laughs> please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo to serve the highest good of all involved for this time, for the month of July. <laughs> yeah? Thank you so much, Spirit. <laughs> so, so I laughed when I said, hey, Spirit, because they're starting to answer me now. I said, hey, Spirit. They said, yes, Eric. <laughs> I, I don't know, whatever. I thought it was funny. Okay, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on for you? We've got yellow. We've got pink. Okay, willpower. Unconditional love. You may be in the period where you are really focused on unconditional love for yourself, okay? And that's bringing forward a drive for you. Um, to move in a direction that you're really passionate about. Maybe you've been passionate about this for a long time and because you're starting to, you know, accept yourself in some different ways, now you're opening yourself up to actually following that passion. If you have been uh, open to it already, you might be just now taking steps to move forward. But ultimately, also, yellow is the color of the sun. Um, yellow is the color of illumination, of joy. And that's very much... Uh, leadership, too, and that's very much your energy, Leo. So, great. Boop -boop. All right, Leo. One more shuffle for you. And now I'm seeing orange. So you also may be um, healing some emotional things, you know? Uh, healing your emotional body. Um, coming to terms with certain things. With certain things. <laughs> certain things. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Okay. Overall energy for you, Leo, we've got the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there's that emotional side of you, okay? This is um, why this is why I was seeing this orange color. You really could be going through some emotional healing right now, which is really good. Very, very good. Um, 
Queen of Cups. What else is coming through with the Queen of Cups? You could be getting in touch with your intuition also. Um, very much, I'm hearing standing your ground on something, uh, something of an emotional situation. Um, you could be in a situation where you're like, you're, you may be in a relationship with someone or you're trying to get into a relationship with someone and you're just, you're holding steady. Um, you're keeping your emotions in check when it comes to that situation. Some sort of situation that brings emotional fulfillment to you, yeah? We've got, ooh, we've got the Knight of Swords. We've got the Six of Cups. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. To me, that's kind of a good thing. The Knight of Pentacles is um, the slowest moving, moving knight in the deck. Often gives into some sort of procrastination. Um, I, please excuse the sound. <laughs> I'm doing like three different things with my laptop right now. I'm recording a video, I'm editing a video, and I'm uploading a video at the same time. <laughs> so I apologize if the, uh, if the video is a little choppy or you can hear the gears in my laptop moving around. But uh, I'm going to try and speak as clearly as I possibly can, yeah? Um, there is a deep emotional connection here. We've got the soulmate card with the Six of Cups, okay? You could be feeling really nostalgic about something. Um, but with the Knight of Swords also, you're like really wanting to charge forward. And that is a direct opposite to the, pay, the Knight of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So you're not, you're out of the planning phase, okay? And now you're really wanting to charge forward in this direction, okay? And your, your emotions are what... Um, are driving you, the feeling aspect of what's going on with your life, whatever this resembles for you, the feeling aspect of, of it is what's really charging you forward. You're very much connected with your emotions and your feelings right now. This could also be someone around you, okay? There could be someone around you that is feeling this way and is wanting to charge towards you. Understands that this is really a, a deep soulmate connection, um, is really feeling the connection and is wanting to do something about it, okay, with the Knight of Swords. All right, let's get into the storyline here. Starting you off with the Nine of Wands. Okay, just keep swimming. The, the, the Wounded Warrior card. This is someone that is kind of on the defensive, but really has been through the ringer, has really been through a struggle, um, has been through the battle, has been fighting the battle, and is continuing to fight the battle, okay? Nine of Wands is coupled with Ooh, the hermit in reverse. So you're probably coming out of a hermit moment. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, you could also be dealing with another water, with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, symbolized by the Queen of Cups here, and the hermit symbolizes Virgo. Um, but I really feel like you're, for the most part, Leo or this person around or someone around you is coming out of a hermit stage and is stepping back into the battle. But when they're stepping back into the battle, they're seeing, they, they, they've they reached some sort of enlightenment. They, they've, they've, they've learned something about themselves, which is allowing them to step back into the battle, even though they're battered and bruised, okay? On the other hand, there could be a situation where either you, Leo, or someone around you is, is not going in, <coughs> excuse me, is not taking a time out with the hermit and is just continuing to fight in this same old way, which is why they would be showing up as the nine of wands, this, this person that is just, I'm picking up if this is, if that's resonating with you or someone around you, they're fighting for no reason. They have an opportunity to like step out of the battle and go within and do some soul searching to realize that they don't have to continue fighting this way, but they're not. Somehow they're refusing to. Or for some reason they're refusing to. Okay. Moving forward, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. With aha, the Fool in reverse. So, okay. So now if... So this person that is refusing to go within is probably doing so because they're very much rooted in the physical world. I'm hearing financial situations. Um, this could be another earth sign. Okay, we already had Virgo show up, but this could also be a Taurus or a Capricorn too, including Virgo with the King of Pentacles. 
but someone is very much rooted in their financial situation or in their physical situation and they're not taking a leap of faith or stepping out on this new journey just yet. Okay? They could possibly still be in this hermitage stage, all right? And so, um, and they're kind of like on the outside, they're fighting against whatever this raging battle is while they go through this hermit phase. And so they could very well be on the cusp of taking this leap of faith with the fool here. The fool is in reverse. So this could be that they're resisting it or they're getting ready to do it, okay? Cool. Moving forward, we have the magician in reverse, okay? With the high priestess. And now the high priestess is upright. Now, look at this, guys. Look, I just want to show you this. If you're, well, you don't have to be familiar with the tarot because I'm, I'm going to explain it to you anyway. We have zero, one, and two in succession here, okay? Um, and this is within the, mind, the, the major arcana. All right, so here's the deal. Someone is very much, is probably being pretty, pretty secretive with the high priestess. Um, but this also could be a representation of this person or you, Leo, that is in a hermit stage, has gone within to see the light or see the light differently, right? And they're getting ready to come out of it, but they're being secretive with the high priestess. But they're also, I'm picking up that they're getting downloads from the universe that are helping them understand the situation better or intuitively. They're, they could be doing a lot of intuitive communication with themselves and the universe. We have the magician here. The magician is in reverse. They're not quite manifesting just yet, but they're working on it. They're planning on it, okay? Ultimately, remember, we have, in the overall energy, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Six of Cups here. So if we're talking about a relationship, this is a deep soulmate relationship, okay? Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with the, with the Fool, but they're not quite doing it yet, because I'm hearing they're getting downloads. They're, 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 they're gaining information from the universe. But also keep in mind that, they're, that the Knight of Pentacles is underneath the deck and that is reversed. So it's not like we're really in a planning stage anymore. We're getting ready to take some action here with the Knight of Swords towards whoever the Queen of Cups is. Okay? Moving forward, we've got the Six of Wands. So this could be very well, very well could be your energy, Leo. Someone's feeling quite victorious. It could be you, Leo. It could also be this other person that's around you. Feeling victorious because they understand the depth of this connection and they know that there is a victory at hand, okay? Six of Wands is coupled with, ho, 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 the Empress, the Queen of Queens. Um, yeah. All right, so we've got a lot of major arcana in the spread so far. We've got the, the, the Hermit. We've got the Fool the magician, the high priestess, and now, wow, and now the empress. And look at this, guys. Zero, one, two, and three. That's so cool, okay? But the empress, this could be a Taurus. I, f I don't remember quite. There was another sign that, that is resembles or is... Um, um, that, sh that, it could, that, could, that the empress could resemble. But anyway... Um, there is a victory around a feminine energy here, okay? You could, we could also be talking pregnancy for some people, that someone could be getting pregnant soon, which is great, and that would be totally victorious, especially if you've been working towards it. It could be unexpected, too, which is something I'm picking up here, but it's a joyful thing I'm picking up. It's not something that, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a bad thing. It's something that is great. But there is a victory here when it comes to a feminine energy, um, and this is definitely this is definitely somebody realizing that they have a very deep soulmate connection with something and that they know they have they have something really good coming to them. And I want you guys to re to really look at the fact that the 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 man here on the 6 of wands is walking is moving towards this empress. I really see whoever is holding the 6 of wands energy and they're moving towards a feminine energy uh, whoever the empress is here they're really coming forward with something deep to offer very passionate something very passionate to offer that is fabulous moving forward we've got the ace of pentacles in reverse okay it's not quite time to start yet that's what i'm hearing 
with the Hanged Man. Okay. And the Hanged Man is upright here. And the Hanged Man is <laughs> falling right underneath the Hermit. So this is, this is the representation of someone that is um, still in a Hermitage mode. Okay, but this is why the hermit is represented here with the nine of wands because on, in this in this situation, the they're coming out of a hermit stage, yes, but they're still kind of in a hermit stage because they're physically in their in their three D reality, they're kind of isolating themselves. They're still in this moment of self imposed isolation. They may not be as seclusive or secluded. It, it, as in like the hermit where they're really like not even connecting with anyone they're still connecting with somebody but they're still putting a distance between them they're still trying to gain a bit of enlightenment here and we have the ace of pentacles so there is and and remember i said with the six of wands here someone wants to offer something to whoever the empress is here this could be you leo or you leo could be wanting to offer something to someone else who is represented by the empress but it's not quite time yet the Ace of Pentacles is still here, all right? There is an offer that wants to be made, but it's not quite time. Someone is trying to gain a little more illumination, a little more enlightenment before they do, they, they, they move forward, before they make this offering, okay? Cool, moving forward, we've got death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio um, with the moon in reverse. Okay, so more secrets here, guys. Um, right, because we have the we have the, the the high priestess here who can be pretty secretive, but then we also have the moon, which is about secrets. But the moon in reverse could talk about secrets coming to light, secrets being revealed. With death in reverse, I'm picking up that someone is also in a cycle of transformation. And as this transformation keeps going, there could be some secrets that come out, some things that are revealed. I'm not picking up too much energy of resistance of death. With death in reverse here, I'm just picking up that there's, that there's a cycle of death that's happening, okay? You're in the process of a transformation. A process of transformation, okay, but there could be some resistance to this transformation because it is a, it is a no, it is, known by whoever is feeling this transformation that there are going to be some pretty heavy secrets that come out and they may not they may just not be ready for those secrets to come out yet so that's why they're still in this transformative state okay that's why this person could still be um you know is in the hanged man situation because they're just trying to gain they could be trying to gain confidence so much major arcana guys wow Okay, moving forward, we've got 10 of pentacles. Somebody has family on the mind. And this is, um, this is falling underneath the magician, okay? So I'm really picking up that someone is really trying to manifest the ultimate family life when it comes to the material aspects of it. And I really feel like it's this king of pentacles here. The king of pentacles wants this, but doesn't feel ready for it yet, okay? Ten of Pentacles is with the King of Wands. Woo woo! Yeah. And look at how intently this King of Wands is staring at the Ten of Pentacles there. Like he is dead set focused. This could be you, Leo, with the King of Wands here. But someone really wants a family. Someone wants to manifest this family. And most likely wants it with the Empress here. Finally, we've got... The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, with the Two of Wands. All right, so somebody knows, and this is right under the Empress, guys. So somebody knows that their wishes are right there, right there in front of them. So what's happening with this, with all of this kind of seclusion, this secrecy, this working on manifestation? Someone is just trying to decide the best plan of action to get this wish fulfillment that they know is around them. Yeah, that's really a beautiful, beautiful message. I just heard the direction is coming clear. You're not quite ready for it yet, but it's getting clearer. And uh, I'm getting, you're really, whoever this is, you're really working with your intuition on this one. Um, and that's what the high priestess and, the, and the, um, the magician in reverse is saying to me the most. 
because in the past there could have been some situations where manifestations were not complete or were not right. Um, and that's because in the past, whoever was manifesting was not working with their intuition, was strictly logical, strictly 100% um, three-dimensional and materially ego-based even. But now, this time around, they're using their intuition. And that's excellent, especially if it's a masculine energy um, because there is a lot of... Um, there are a lot of masculine energies that are come, that are starting to get into their feminine energies, which means receptivity and intuition, psychic ability and all that stuff. Someone is really trusting in the universe right now to get this Ten of Pentacles. We could be talking Twin Flames, okay? Um, if not Twin Flames, we're also, we could be talking about divine partners, soulmates, Yeah. Okay. Let's get into the Oracle messages. Whoop, whoop. Okay. For Leo, for the month of July, what have you got for us, spirit? For Leo, 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 Leo. Leo. Woo! There we go. This is you to a T, Leo. Leadership is the very first card. It looks like we have three. Leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. I mean, that is you, Leo. That is you. Excellent. We also have abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. All right. Now, this is also a message for the cross watcher here um, who is maybe trying to come forward towards this Leo. OK, but you've got abundance. So uh, there may be some and Leo, this could also be you, too. If you're trying to move forward towards somebody, there may be some fear that, you know, of inadequacy. But I'm here to tell you that's not the case. And flow. Find an easier path forwards. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. So this is absolutely talking about um, whoever is in this hermit hanged man state who's trying to figure things out. And the, and the guidance here is to just go with the flow, okay? Don't try to force anything to happen. Don't try to force yourself to come to a conclusion at a certain time or whatever. Really work on releasing expectations expectations of when things should happen, expectations of how things should happen, just release it and just go with the flow. You're con whoever, you, whoever I'm talking to here, whether this is you, Leo, or this is the other person, you're very much in tune with the universe and with your intuition because you've got the high priestess here, all right? And the high priestess is all about intuition. So trust that. You've come to a point right now where you can trust your intuition enough to let it help you manifest so really trust it enough to let it help you know when the time is right, okay? The universe is on your side. Alrighty, so uh, finally we're gonna end with the crystal mandala message. That's not it, okay. Okay, cool, crystal mandala. So also keep in mind that if you want to try and whoop, there it is. Just one message is all. Okay, great. Um, so what is this? Okay, so this is card number 23, Ascended Master Jesus and Rosophia. Rosophia, I've never heard of that one. Meaningful Sacrifice. All right, let me just get my little book here. So if you want to try and find some Rosophia, R-O-S-O-P-H-I-A, Go for it. I mean, I've never actually seen it, but I'm sure you could find it online somewhere. But if you're feeling guided to purchase that in order to um, work with it, I encourage you to do so. And 23 boils down to a five. So this is a card of, a five is a number of challenges, but it's also a number of change, yes? Meaningful sacrifice. We bring you the blessing of meaningful sacrifice. To sacrifice, oh, I'm sorry, to manifest your divine destiny, there are times when 
want must give way to greater need. It may feel as though you are being denied the very thing that you yearn for the most. However, when meaningful sacrifice is being asked of you, there is far more generous and loving reality at play. What is, it, what is being denied now will ultimately create the opportunity for far greater gain. This doesn't necessarily resolve the pain of unfulfilled desire in this moment, but it, but it does soothe your soul with the understanding that if you feel denied, it is only so that your fulfillment can come in a more extraordinary and generous expression in due course. So I'm also getting a message of divine timing here. Yeah. Allow the universe to work in your favor. Again, release expectations. Okay. Just allow the universe to do what it needs to do on your behalf because the universe is always working on our behalves. Okay. The universe will never try to sabotage you. The only sabotage that can come to you is either through yourself or through others. So really just trust in the universe. All right, Leo. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, you are more than welcome to email me. My personal information is in the description box down below. Much love to you, Leo, and I look forward to connecting with you guys next month. Yeah, take care. Bye.